Welcome to another how-to video. Today we're gonna do a compression test on my Parson uh, 4. <clears throat> what we're gonna need for this is a compression tester. With the appropriate adapter. Gonna put that in. <clears throat> okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and remove the spark plug boot and remove the spark plug. <clears throat> Quick inspection of the spark plug. So we're gonna go ahead and screw in the compression tester now. <clears throat> and a couple of things to remember it needs to be securely in. <clears throat> what you need to do is to give it about uh, seven to nine pulls to get the optimal reading and also um, open the throttle while you're doing that so we're going to go ahead and pull the thro throttle open make sure the uh, the fuel is switched off and so the uh, the outboard doesn't accidentally start up So let's take a couple of readings. So this is about 80 PSI. Relieve the pressure. Let's try again. About nine pulls. This time we've got 100 PSI. Oh, that's better. We're gonna try again. Open throttle. Got nine pulls. And we're getting well, just under 100 TSP PSI, 95. But we're gonna try again because it's so it's quite erratic. So we're gonna try again. nine pools and now we're getting uh, 110 so I'm gonna go ahead and take this reading 110 <clears throat> okay the second test what we're gonna do is a wet test so a wet test is when we when we add a bit of oil into the cylinder so we're gonna introduce so just a little bit of engine oil. We're gonna go ahead and just add that into the cylinder. Okay. <clears throat> and now we're gonna repeat the test.
what well, is what this is going to do is the oil in the chamber is going to seal off any micro gaps that are forming between the cylinder wall the chamber wall and the piston the piston ring so that should give us a higher reading so let's go again open throttle nine pools and we're already getting uh, 115 and we're gonna do it again and we're gonna get 110 on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and count 115 so a dry test was 110 and the wet test was 115 <clears throat> as long as it's uh, within sort of 10 15 percent that should be fine <clears throat> if we have a bigger difference that might indicate that um, there is a compression loss somewhere in the so within the cylinder uh, which means that we have to investigate a bit further whether it's piston rings or and one of the valves or what have you so that's that <clears throat> thank you for watching